Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 108. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 107 to 119. Hey, this video is about exchange rates. We want to build a little table that explicitly shows for every US uh, for every $1 of the the foreign currency how many US dollars we need and here for every one dollar how much uh, British pounds do you need and we want to build an explicit table that shows the division and the one in the numerator this is for people who maybe don't understand exchange rates we're going to do a web query then we're going to use the character function we're going to use the code function and VLOOKUP and some other functions. If you're not sure how to use code and character and web queries, I always have notes up here. I have a great video about uh, uh, lookup and about uh, character and code if you want some uh, further information. First thing we want to do is do a web query. We're going to go to data, get external data, and existing connections. This is in 2007. There's notes at the top here. Uh, for how to do it in 2003, you have to go to the data menu, external data, and then uh, get data. Let's go to existing connections, and there's a built-in list. It looks a little bit different in 2007, but it says the same thing. We want uh, currency, so I'm just going to double click it like that. And it says, where do I want to dump it? Dumping it right there is fine. You can even go look at the properties you want, enable background refresh. You could refresh it every so often. I'm going to click OK. Actually, maybe I'll try properties. And I don't want to adjust column widths because I don't want to, when it imports, I don't want to adjust that column width. Click OK. And then click OK. It's going. And there it is. And notice there's a column one with these names. And then here's uh, the peso. Uh, how much you have to pay in US dollars for every one peso and this is how many pesos you get for every one dollar and that's what I want to show I want to build uh, uh, use concatenation and text uh, formula tricks to build that explicit formula now notice I have uh, some uh, labels here these are the same I got these from a web query I did before so if you go down and you look at uh, US dollar or British pound to US dollar that's what it says down here to see British pound to US dollar that way we can uh, use a V lookup to retrieve the value I'm gonna highlight this cell right here and just see if I can do the V lookup part of it first equals V lookup the value I want to look up is that because that's in the first column down here and I'm going to lock it with my F4 key. I'm going to hit F4, 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 because I need to lock it going across, because I'm going to need that value there, but not when I go down. Comma, and then I need the whole table. I'm going to highlight the first uh, one, two, three, not including the labels, and then hold Control and Shift and down arrow, and then F4. F4 locks it. That's the table it's going to look up in. The column index, now look at this. We have A, B, C, right? This table is ABC, that's column 1, 2, 3. So since in this one in USA and then over here we need 2 and 3 column, because this is 2 and 3 column, we can just use the column function. I'm going to actually scoop this out of the way here. Column function, just like that. Because the column function without any arguments tells you what column. Right now I'm in column B, so that's 2. So that's a cool way to deliver 2. When it moves over here, it'll deliver 3. That only works when the table's in columns uh, B and C, like that. Comma, and then we want a 0. Because the match we want to look up, if I can scroll over here, we want to look up an exact match, because those are words we're looking up. Close parentheses. This is a word, so we need exact matchup. <coughs> Woo, I must be allergic to web queries or something. All right, now I'm going to double click and send this down, and I'm going to um, drag this over like that. So I copied it everywhere. Now that formatting is ridiculous. Um, the control 1, and click on general. That's uh, format cells is control 1, and I'm going to get back to general for number format. There it is. There's one, so in US dollars, we can get uh, one uh, dollar for one US dollar. Here, British pounds, um, it takes uh, one dollar and 70 cents in USA for every one 
pound. And notice there's a pound right there. Here, we want to eventually put a formula here that says uh, 0.588 pounds for slash every one dollar. Now, um, if you look at that video on uh, code and character, you, there's a way to figure out uh, what uh, characters you need and eventually what code. The code for dollar is 36. The code for pound is 163. The code for uh, won is 165. And the code for euro is 128. So let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this column first. I'm going to click here and hit F2. First thing I want to do is I want to uh, convert this uh, VLOOKUP result here to Here, I'm going to click Escape here. Click Escape here. Right here is a good example of what we're trying to do. We want to have this show in dollars, right? 1.7 dollars, and then slash, and then whatever that um, one dollar pound, one yawn. I'm sorry, one pound, one yawn. So I'm going to uh, F2 there, and I'm going to put the dollar function around here, dollar. And I want a, a comma four. That'll round. It'll show me up to four decimals. That dollar function converts a number to text and formats it as a U.S. dollar. Now we need to concatenate, so we're going to use the join symbol. And in quotes, we need slash. Now we could just put one here, right? And then end quote. Let's see what that looks like, and then double click and send it down. But what I really want is I want it to say, for instance, right here, this $1.70 for every one pound. That's where this uh, code right here is going to come in, 163. If we say character 163, we're going to use the character function. We can insert that right there, and it will insert the right symbol. So I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Notice there's, oh, we need act, we actually need that character right there. So we're going to have to um, put an end double quote after the um, slash, and then ampersand, ampersand, and then uh, begin quote, right? So we need to join that slash, this character function, and then this one, C-A-R. I don't know how to spell C-A-R. I can't spell. It's, it's, uh, there it is, C-H. God, I wish I could s spell. Now, we already have these numbers over here. We have a 36, et cetera. So I'm actually going to try and get that cell reference. I can't reach it right there. So watch this. I'm going to click there and then hit the down arrow and then close parentheses. That way, as I copy it down, it'll get the right um, code for the character function. Control Enter. And then I can double click and send it down. So now we have explicitly, here it is, here's the exchange rate, $1.70 for every one pound, 14 uh, cent, 14.6 cents for every one yawn. Now let's figure out how to do it over here. This one we're going to need the um, this currency over here in the denominator and the dollar in the denominator. All right, I'm going to click here, hit F2. And now I want to add the. Um, uh, character function here, C A R. Let's see if I, yeah, I got it right this time. I'm going to click there and then down arrow to get that F13. And then ampersand. Let's just see what that looks like right here. Control Enter and double click and send it down. So sure enough, that's what we want in the numerator. Now I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. We need to do some concatenating. And quote, and here it kind of doesn't matter. These are all in one dollar. So we can just type dollar uh, one end quote. And then control enter. And double click and send it down. Well, that didn't work. We're missing one character. We need the slash. So I'm going to click here, hit F2. And sure enough, in this little concatenating right here, I need to put a slash right here, forward slash, boop. Control enter, and then double click and send it down. So that's a clever way to make a um, uh, exchange rate table for maybe uh, people that uh, are not as up on what it means when they see that particular number. Now we probably could uh, um, okay so th that's it. The, other, the only last thing I'll say is that you can uh, right click and refresh and I don't think the markets are open right now where I'm oh there it, it did so it, it refreshed right there 
Of course, the current the exchange markets are always open. And then this, because it's linked to that with a VLOOKUP, will update. All right, we'll see you next trick.